Hey Sharks, my name is John Anthony Radosta, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer at Advanced Sports Technology. I'm here seeking $160,000 for a 10% equity stake in my corporation. Sharks, Advanced Sports Technology is at the forefront of a new sport that's sweeping the entire nation like a tidal wave. Sharks, this is the National Association of Bubble Soccer. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> we gotta try this. <laughs> they can really play, too. <laughs> Sharks, wow. the National Association of Bubble Soccer adds the one thing missing from traditional soccer. Full <laughs> contact. You can get physical, <laughs> deliver some big hits, and fall down laughing like you never have before. <laughs> so, Sharks, who's ready to get the ball rolling and carve their name into sports history? Can we try it? Yeah. Yes, Can absolutely. we try it? Good I like to come down. To. I want to try <laughs> Come on out. Oh, I'm, I'm knocking you. You guys are toast. You're going to loop your hands through these first. And you're oh, in. Sharks in the bubble. Cuban, put the ball down. That's the absolute best. So, John, you're gonna walk us through your business model? Yeah, so essentially we're the one-stop shop uh, for the prospective bubble soccer entrepreneur to get everything they need to be part of this sport and part of a supportive organization. We just launched our 40th affiliate throughout the United States. So essentially they run leagues for us and essentially we work with them as an exclusive equipment provider and lead generation partner. And then they're actively in each city well, well, for, running the first leagues. First of all, before you get technical, because he, he didn't, did you play? No, it I was, watched you idiots. It was fun. It was, fun. It, it was, it was, it was, it was a, a lot, lot of fun. fun. I didn't fun. think it would be that much fun. There's nothing else like no, it. No, it really the is. The bubbles were fun. But no one cared about the you actual actually, soccer. You, make, the you make a good point. So there's two types of demographics that play bubble soccer. There's the private event side, which is basically people just want to get in the bubbles, try it once, crash into each other, have some fun. Then there's also the league side. There's a league competitor. They're active, they're coming back every week, and they're playing in games. And how many people are playing it today? We're live in about 39 uh, cities. Depending on the league, it's anywhere between 8 to 12 teams. So if some of it is event and some of it is the leagues, how much of it is for private events, parties, things like that? It's about a 50-50 split. But John, from a promotional perspective, we've rented stuff that's similar. Uh, we didn't invent the sport by any means. We saw, the way that I actually got into this is uh, I had seen some viral videos over the United Kingdom and in Australia. Of these leagues existing there? Yeah. How Somebody big is the, this I, I, gone in Europe? What we've seen is actually those leagues are thriving more than ever. Define thriving. Just to give you an example, I don't have the search volume for Europe offhand, but just in the United States, in 2014, the largest number of searches per month in Google was about 55,000 searches. In 2015, got up to 85,000 searches. Are, but don't tell me the searches. Tell me the sales in Europe. It's private companies. I don't you have don't that know data. You know how many leagues there are. You know how many teams there are. Just in one year, now we're seeing leagues pop up in Hong Kong, Taiwan. No, We've no, had forget the leagues. Forget the leagues. How many teams, how many are, many teams there? are there? How many teams? It varies depending upon the particular season. So Why like can't I, said, I get a straight know. answer from you? I don't care what happens in Australia. I'm investing in the United States right here. What are you going to get in revenue this year? Next year, the year after that, how much money are you going to make each so, year? We've been in the market for about 13 months. Uh, thus far, in total sales, we've done $355,867. And where's sales. that revenue coming from? Uh, year one was exclusively equipment sales. However, we also have a lead generation and referral system uh, that functions basically on a cost per lead basis. We're on track. We've steadily been increasing revenues 38% month over month. Give me the dollar. What's the dollar this amount is 430000 that we're this projected year. to do this year. How much are you going to make on it? Uh, free cash flow margin is 23%. You're telling me 430 you're going to make 80000 on it, right? Uh, free cash flow, yes. What about next year? The year after, as we're expecting anywhere between 683,000 and 740. See, but now you're just, okay, okay, so let's, let's you... be clear. Knowing your numbers is one thing, 
But no, you're just picking numbers. numbers out of the air, just throwing them out. So the future, I know, though, I know, had, I know, I know. The I know, evaluation I know. that I present here today is based on a discounted free cash flow model with a diminishing growth rate <laughs> over 60 You've months. You've got two guys in a it ball bouncing against each other. You're doing discounted John, where do you cash see it flow. Going? And you manufacture the bubbles? Yes, bubbles? we manufacture the equipment. Uh, Tell us provide, what the balls uh, cost, John. So total landed cost for us is anywhere between $150 to $160 per ball. Wow. Wow. Oh, really? And then what do you sell them for? To the end customer, we sell them in four different packages ranging anywhere from about 4,000 to about 16,000. Oh, so that's why you need a league, It's an right? investment in, their, in a business. You're so, not selling the balls individually, you saw them as a no, package. This is someone investing in a business. So John, I paid you the 4,000. How much more money do you make from me over the next 12 months? We work with our affiliates in a number of ways. We offer optional equipment protection plans. You're paying anywhere from, like for $90 a month to about 120, because you also have a cost per lead. So if we send you four leads, it's $8 per lead that we send you. So that ongoing revenue yeah. is from lead generation. It's from lead generation and, and extended warranty programs. I find this very confusing. At the end of the day, you have two different things going on. You have leads, and mm -hmm. then you have events and parties. So we, wanna, we want to be able to cater to the market and however they want to experience this sport. When you do it for the parties and the events, what do you charge people to use them for the day? So a typical birthday party will bring in anywhere between three to five hundred dollars. So, do you do those direct, or do the local franchisees do those? Events? The local franchisees. So, so they you are, don't make are, money on oh, the corporate events. I no. See, that's the key. That. The bulk of John's sales are one time. He doesn't care John, what they I use them for, corporate, that. or whether they're playing a game. It always bothers me when an entrepreneur comes into the Shark Tank and immediately the sharks try to redefine their business model. That means it's not clear. It doesn't have enough of a definition in terms of deplacing cash back to me as an investor. And you're all over the map, you know? I still don't know how I ever make any money. You did a really poor job explaining it to me. Sorry, I'm out. Sure. You know, I think that this is great for the consumer. I don't see the vision for the leaks, so I'm out. John, the longer you talked, the more confusing it got. The longer you talk, the more business models there were. It fell apart for me. I'm out. It's unfortunate to hear because uh, on the tech side, we actually have a huge technology infrastructure that we actively need some help managing. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now it's a tech business. Pick one business and grow that part. Why? They, they all make money. You can't do everything to everybody. Um, I actually have to take my hat off to you because you've scaled pretty quickly in 13 months. Uh, my challenge is I don't think it's going to scale much larger than it is now. You've done well with it to this point, but I think you're going to hit a brick wall. I'm out. I won't say any brick walls, but understandable. Mark, if there's anybody who can help with sports and tech, I mean, that's our focus here. Here's what I see. Um, you're not in the soccer business. You're not even in the products. You're in the business opportunity business, right? What's key is your affiliates. If you were to come in here and say, you know, we have affiliates in 39 cities and they all make $25,000 a year and we're going to help those affiliates grow to make $100,000 a year each. And that's going to be the foundation of growing this league. That would have told us what business you're in. But you were so convoluted in trying to show us the numbers and how well you understand the business, you missed the basic point of what your business was. It was hard to understand. I'm out. Wow. That's surprising. Okay. Well, not really. Really? Not really. You got five people that aren't clear about it. Thank you guys very much. Can't sell them all. Very, very smart sharks.